So the first important point to remember is that once you put on a can of foam onto your gun, you wanna make sure that there's always a can of foam on your gun. Even if it's empty, leave it on there until you're ready to put on a fresh can. And the reason is, is that the can is your air block for this hole. If air can get into the hole, it's gonna cure the foam in your barrel and then your gun's not gonna work right anymore. Another important point to remember is that once you start using your gun, you're gonna build foam up around the tip pretty quickly. Now what most guys will do is take a utility knife and just knife the barrel and scrape off that extra foam. And that's okay. But what you never wanna do is to knife the tip of the gun because you'll wind up damaging that retractable pin. Again, it will allow air into the barrel, cure the foam, and you're gonna have a problem. So instead, the proper way to clean the tip is to use a piece of wood like a shim or a two by four and scrape it off. And again, that's not gonna damage your pin. So the last thing to talk about is the proper use of gun cleaner. Now, when you're changing out cans of foam, a lot of the times you're gonna have buildup right in here in your can adapter. So what you wanna do is take a can of cleaner, use your red spray tip, and spray off that excess foam. The foam will dissolve, you'll have nice clean threads and be ready to screw on your new can of foam. Then, after about every two to three cases of foam, you can take your can of cleaner, actually screw it onto the gun, and run through about a third of a can, and really flush out that barrel. Now, you don't wanna do that too often because the cleaner is corrosive and it'll eventually lessen the life of your gun. So those are some quick tips for care and maintenance of your one-part guns. If you have any questions, give us a call at Dr. Energy Saver or send us an email to orders at drenergysaver.com. See you next time.